Hello again, this is John on the Fat Hipster channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing two dips. And these dips are none other than Doritos Cool Ranch Jalapeno Dip. And of course, if I'm going to do that one, I'm also going to review their Spicy Nacho Dip. If you see these in the stores, one, two things that they show pictures of being dipped into that is fried chicken and pizza. I don't have those on me, and I don't really feel like ordering a whole pizza and a whole order of fried chicken just to try some dips. But what I do have, and what I thought would be a very interesting, is I have some Doritos Cool Ranch, and I have some Doritos Nacho Cheese. And we're going to test them in each dip. A nacho and a nacho, a Cool Ranch and a Cool Ranch, and swapping them over to see if they're complementary or not. Let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to start off with the Doritos Dip Cool Ranch Jalapeno. When you buy these, they are not cold, they are not refrigerated. They do say on the instructions that after you open it, you are to refrigerate it. So this is actually starting out slightly at room temperature because I didn't have it in the fridge because it didn't need to be. It has like this little foil wrapper on top. You just peel it back. Here's a question for all of you. If you have a wrapper and you get like a ton of product on the lid, it almost seems like a waste to just throw that out. Some people will lick it, some people will like scrape it off with your chip. What I like to do is I just put it back like kind of like on top and then I kind of scrape it sideways. And you just get a little bit back added to there. Some people even just save these and put it back on the top so, uh, so that it stays fresher, maybe? I don't know if that actually does something. Anyway, let's open up the Cool Ranch. Chips. And try the Cool Ranch chips. The cool Ranch dips. Like a whole chip. I'm just going to go straight down, straight down, straight up. I'm not scooping. I'm just seeing what naturally gets enveloped on the chip. It's right out. It's very ranchy. Let me try one more. I'm going to bite this first. Okay. That with the dip. Very interesting. It's very ranchy. I don't get a whole lot of jalapeno to it. It's not very spicy at all. But it's definitely ranchy. It's like a ranch dip. Alrighty. Now let's open the spicy nacho. Begin with the foil wrapper. Cheesy top and we'll come back down and scrape sideways to get more of that dip in there. Waste not, want not, is what I always say. I don't say that. Doritos Nacho Cheese, let's open her up. We'll do our on the first one, is just take a bite of it first. Look at that. Baseline Nacho Cheese flavor. So again, I'm just going to go 
straight down, straight up. As you can see, I think it's a good coating from that. Tastes like nacho cheese dip. This one's definitely noticeably spicy, whereas the Cool Ranch Jalapeno, I didn't really detect anything other than ranchiness. So this one's definitely like a spicy nacho cheese. Um, it tastes like a lot of spicy nacho cheeses that I've had before. Liquidy cheese has a kick of spice to it. All right. Both of these are perfectly fine. I don't think either of them are super special or specifically taste like a Dorito. The ranch in this and the ranch in this, they don't taste the same, like they're the same ranch flavorings. Uh, cool Ranch Doritos have a unique taste to it, whereas this just tastes like ranch that you get in a bottle, or I did. Both of these are definitely cheesy. I would say the similarities in the cheese flavor are closer than the ranch one. But again, I wouldn't say this necessarily like if it didn't, didn't have the the Dorito uh, part to it here. It was just like a nacho cheese dip. I don't think anyone for either of these would say that tastes like Doritos specifically. But like I said, let's switch swap chips. We're going to take a nacho cheese chip and put it in a Cool Ranch dip. Yeah, straight down, straight up. Pretty decent coating on there. Let's try it out. That's actually pretty good. You get a complexity for your layering flavors. You have this ranch on the outside, you have this cheesy crunchiness on the inside. Let's try it with the ranch chip and the cheese dip. <clears throat> Again, I like the layer of flavor. We get this nacho cheese flavor, and then underneath it, when you chew it up, you get this Dorito Ranch flavor as well. Um, when you dip the cheese in the cheese, or the ranch in the ranch, they kind of are too similar that uh, it almost tastes like a plain chip that you're dipping. Whereas if you crisscross them, you're getting a more complex flavor profile. Uh, I think it's just more enjoyable that way. But anyway, here's the bottom line. Both of these dips are perfectly good if you want a ranch dip or if you want like a more nacho, spicier cheese dip. This one is definitely, even though it says jalapeno, I'm going to try this one more time just to see. I'm going to kind of like dunk it in different places too. I'm going to try to see if I can detect jalapeno here. I really don't taste the jalapeno. It just tastes like ranch. But both of them are good, but they're not really special. You can get a, a nacho cheese sauce. You can get a ranch sauce for a dip. It would be pretty much the same thing. Um, but I don't think it's it's a no-brainer for Doritos to come out with something like this. Uh, it'll probably sell. And people will enjoy it. Uh, it's cheese and ranch dip. There's nothing wrong with them. So, if you see them, go ahead and try them out. If you want, if you're in need of some ranch, 
or some cheese dip, they'll work perfectly fine. But other than that, they're not special. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching me and want more reviews, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I guess I'll never see you again. And for that, I'll also just say goodbye forever. To everyone else, just a regular goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one.